My name is Katla Kokoboto. I'm 18 years old and I'm living with HIV. I first found out I was positive when I was 11 years old. At the time I was really, really sick and then I got hospitalized and then I got tested for HIV. And that's when they found out that I found out that I was HIV positive and found out that it was through mother child transmission. Katleho is one of over 600 teenagers currently receiving treatment for HIV at the Botswana Baylor Center of Excellence in Khabarone. Dealing with the usual peer pressures and challenges of being a teenager is hard enough. Being an HIV positive teenager can often lead to depression and non-adherence to treatment. This can have life-threatening consequences. The challenges for adolescents in, in maintaining good care are multiple. Uh, they center around psychosocial issues, um, prominently depression, anxiety, uh, other things that make their adherence uh, not optimal. At first I thought, I, I didn't think that I was the only one, but I just felt alone. I, I felt like I was the only uh, outcast, you know, who was living with HIV and had to take meds. Katleho started coming to the Baylor Children's Clinic in 2008. The facility is the first of its kind on the African continent, providing state-of-the-art care and treatment for over 4,000 HIV-infected children, teens, and families from around Botswana. In order to address the unique needs of teenagers like Katleho, Baylor created the Teen Club, a peer support group intervention for HIV-positive adolescents between the ages of 13 and 19. Meeting one Saturday per month, the teen clubs help HIV-positive adolescents like Katleho to manage their health and stick to their treatment regimes. But the clubs do more than this. You want to go back to the pool? Yes. They also help these adolescents build positive relationships, improve their self-esteem, and help with the high levels of discrimination that make it hard for young people to disclose their status in Botswana. There's this image associated with it, with being sick, um, and people are just so afraid of that. And so when teens are surrounded in that kind of environment, of course they don't want to be associated with the virus because it means people will just cut them off. As children born with HIV receive care and support, they are living longer, and today we are seeing the first generation of HIV-positive teenagers transitioning to adulthood. Together with partners like UNICEF and UKAID, the government of Botswana is working to address the needs of HIV-positive children and teens. The government hopes to use the teen club model nationally. With the support of Baylor and Teen Club, Katlejo has taken her leadership role to a new level and has become an advocate for young people living with HIV, both locally and internationally. Uh, this is the challenge of our time and it is also the opportunity of our age. If there are any kids or youth or, uh, teen or adolescents out there who are living with HIV and haven't met people who are living the same way that they are, I just like to tell them even if they're walking that distance alone, they will get there, they will, they will, they will reach a destination somehow.